Like honestly, it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as you're growing food. Yep. Nope, I put it upside down so it would drain. You wanna get a what? A big radish. A big radish? Okay, we can go get a big radish. Good morning, beautiful people. So I'll go in here and we'll find a uh, big radish. Wow, apparently I haven't looked around in here in a couple days because we got tomatoes coming up as well as a few other random weeds. I think I'm going to transplant that tomato. I mean, it knows where it's supposed to be. All right, sister, I'm going to set you down and find a radish, okay? Hi, lady. Hi. <laughs> All right, so I think I might as well explain how our weekend went. There, are there is bumblebees, bumblebees everywhere. They're, They're going crazy. All right, so we had an interesting weekend. This one, Saturday morning, was just kind of tootling around outside, and uh, my blue wheelbarrow was just sitting there over kind of by the sink, the outside sink, and she walked up and just grabbed it. I guess she wanted to look inside, and anybody who's ever messed with a wheelbarrow, they're three, three points of contact. They're not very stable if you pull them in one direction. So this wheelbarrow fell over and smashed her. You know, it was empty, but it is still a metal wheelbarrow. Yeah. She was, like it basically landed on her legs and she couldn't get out. I ran over and threw it off of her real quick, but it smashed one of her foot feet pretty good. We actually thought it had broke her foot. We took her to the doctor, couldn't get in to get x-rays until Sunday. When in Sunday, you took her in and got x-rays. Yeah, still waiting on the official results from that. Yeah. All day, Saturday and yesterday, she was not able to put any weight on her foot. But she's doing it now. Today, yeah, today she's really been testing it out and trying to walk on it. She's still not walking on it, but she's like putting more, yeah. more pressure. So. Um, the doctor said, like, it doesn't look broken there might be a fracture or something yeah. like that I mean, keeping her off of it yeah a ton and... which is kind of hard at the age she's at yeah. but she's she's settling in yeah. well she's crawling and walking on her knees and stuff like that and... i haven't been too mad at us you know having to carry her around no <laughs> she hasn't she hasn't minded real bad yeah all right let me let me pick a radish that's a nice looking radish these are the uh french breakfast, french breakfast. it's like the number one rule of gardening is the second you forget about gardening, it does well. It's when you sit and agonize and worry about it that it's like, no, nope, not growing. Yeah. It's when you give up and you're like, you know what, whatever grows, grows. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Can you I got a whole bunch of radishes. Yeah, let's uh, let's go wash them and I'll get some salt for you. She likes them with salt. Yeah. I want to wash the radishes. We're going to wash the radishes. You want me to cut them up or you want to just hold them and eat them? Cut them up and salt them. Cut them up and salt them. them. <laughs> okay. Girl knows how to eat a radish. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen. Eleven, sixteen. Okay. Which one first? This one. Purple one. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. That's good. Brown one's pretty good. It's very spicy. I like this one because... Sound good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Are you ready to go outside? Or are you going to stay here and finish your radishes? I'm ready to go outside. Alright, so we actually have some stuff to do outside. We have some asparagus to plant. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly because we need the space in our yeah. little uh, <laughs> plant starting area. <laughs> All right, so here is, these are basically our no-till beds. We haven't done the things that you're really supposed to do with no-till. Usually you bring in lots of mulch and really deep mulch everything, and as it breaks down, it just builds better and better and better. Um, the concept is not lost on me, and in fact, what's going to eventually happen is we won't till anything, period. But the initial startup of building soil and getting the soil workable and to where it'll grow stuff, that's on the front end for us. Um, what we've done with this bed, this is just, you know, it's just compost, it's just fill. I have top dressed it every year since we put it in, but for the most part, we haven't 
you know, heavily mulched like we should. I'm still not going to till this, even though I probably could. Um, I've got some rare bulbs planted that a viewer sent us. Stuff like this. Anybody who knows the name of that, those are very unique little flowers. I've never seen those before. We are gonna get this bed and this bed weeded. And what we're going to do is we're going to plant our asparagus that we grew from seed in these beds. They can join their, uh, their parent asparagus. That tallest one right there, I think it was that plant, uh, produced a bunch of berries last year. We saved seed from these plants, planted them, and that's what we have ready to plant now. So it's kind of exciting, saving seed and getting to plant it. Um, the only thing with growing asparagus from seed is it's probably like, probably like a three or four year commitment before we will even get to eat anything off those plants. So best time to plant was 20 years ago. Second best time to plant is today. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so Meg just got off the phone with the doctor. Um, he had a chance to go over all the x-rays and he said there are no fractures, yep. no broken bones, good. which is good. Which we kind of thought because she started trying to put weight on it yesterday. Yeah. And it was like, if it was broken, she would not be doing that. Right. But kind of, it's kind of scary. Yeah. You know, we've made it 16 years. The, no broken bones. No broken bones. None of the boys have ever broke bones. They've had some pretty good injuries, but they've never broken a bone. So, uh, knock on wood, <laughs> we won't start. Yeah. So, we're uh, glad to get that news. Yep, yep. So, we're just gonna keep it wrapped and supported and just let her do her thing. Good. All right. All right. Good that's, that's like a relief. Yes, it was, very much so. It's been quite a weekend. I think I'm gonna get a rake and rake all these leaves out Kay. and weed eat. All right. Cause that's driving me insane how yeah. messy that looks. It is pretty messy. It's just mats of And then leaves. I've mowed as close to the, the bed as I can get. And there's still big tufts. My scythe won't get that close. Kay. So I'll weed eat real all quick. Right. And then we can get out here and plant some asparagus. Sounds good. All cleaned up. That looks so much better. All right, I'm gonna go inside and eat lunch real quick. I know Meg and the baby are in there. So, time to eat lunch. All right, while you're wolfing that, can you hold the camera? Sure, what do you need? Asparagus. Come on, asparagus. Goodness. It is tired of being under that light. Yeah, it is. Tiny, tiny baby asparagus. All right. We got shade for the baby. Yeah. Got hats for me and you. Yep. Various digging utensils. And I don't know, like two dozen asparagus. Yeah, something like that. That's a good number. So I don't know if I successfully explained this this morning when we started. Basically, we have decided that we're just going to turn, since asparagus does so good in this bed, like it's literally been the only thing that we've grown well in this bed. Uh, we're just gonna roll with that and this will be our asparagus bed. Eventually, I'll be putting asparagus in other places. You know, the whole don't, don't keep all your eggs in one basket. But since asparagus has done so good, the three plants that I have in here, we're just gonna roll with that and we're just gonna plant asparagus. So that's what we're doing. All right, let's get planting. You wanna do what? Asparagus. Asparagus. I'm trying to get a caparagus. A caparagus? Yeah. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly, that's big. 
about two years, we're gonna be eating real good off of this bed. Oh yeah. a ton of asparagus. 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 Alright. I have to stay up because there's ants. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that just took us like 20 minutes to do. Probably less, probably more like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, we were adding it up. I was in Tractor Supply Saturday, Saturday morning, and I noticed they had asparagus crowns, and I believe it was one crown per pack, and the pack was like, I wanna say it was $8.99. I think that's what it was, because I walked by and was like, huh? <laughs> that's expensive. So we just planted how many? Like 60. 60 of them. Yeah. So. <laughs> All I, like, all it required of me was I came out here, I harvested berries, let them dry, got the seeds out once the berries had dried, and then planted them yeah. in this seed tray yeah. like two months ago, and voila. So we just saved ourselves a little bit of cash yeah. by growing from seed. Right? That was pretty cool. I think what's cool too is this asparagus can just do its thing. What? Sweaty on the neck. He yeah. is so sweaty. I am sweaty on my neck. You're not sweaty. All right, so there we go. Yeah. That was the big thing on our list today. Yeah. I think it's time to get out of the sun. You don't want to plant onions? I mean, we can plant onions, but let's make it fast. <laughs> okay. So that was another thing I picked up this weekend was uh, some starts. I guess we'll walk over here and we'll look at this onion bed and I can show you what's going on. All right, you go down there and I'll grab the onions. Okay. All right, so if you remember, we started a whole bunch of onions from seed. We planted these onions. One of the trays of onion starts that I had had, I had forgot because I was out of shelves. I had it on a shelf that didn't have a light and I kind of forgot about it. So basically the one that didn't have any light, the onions, like they looked pretty sad. They didn't have any chlorophyll. Um, they weren't green. Well, apparently when the frosty weather that we had, you know, last week, week before, came around, the ones that had chlorophyll that had been under the light, they all survived. The, the very ends of all of the tips of the, the leaves kind of, you know, died back a little bit, but they're fine. They'll be fine. Whereas this bed, we lost, I would say 99.9% .9 of the bed. The whole bed was planted out and that frost absolutely annihilated everything that wasn't green. I went to our local nursery because I knew they had onion sets. So that's what we're gonna do. We're playing catch up. Let's, uh, let's just do the yellows in here. I'm gonna put the red somewhere else. Okay. Uh, that was another thing. We didn't have any seed for red onions. So we, uh, I got like a pound of each, $2 a pound. Yeah. So I spent $4 yeah. to catch up. I'm cool with that kind of price tag. Yep. Now, there are like two in here. I see one right there, possibly right there next to that one, and then there's one in the middle. Like there's a couple there's that, a yeah, that will be fine. Better. I would say just stick a, a start next to them, a onion set next to them, and we'll see how they do. Here, cat, have a dart. She's like, oh, okay. Move. Like, can I eat it? Move. All right, ketchup is complete. Yes. We have a small fistful left of the yellow onions, which means we can finish out this bed. Yep. And then we still have a pound of red onions. Cool. Which I think I'm gonna stick those in the orchard. Okay, sure. Why not? Yeah, might as well try. All right. See, that was fast. We done dude it. We have now finished out this onion bed. That one's replanted. Actually getting my hands in the dirt and getting that close to them. I actually think there's a lot of them that will come back. Yeah, I think so. Which now means we're going to have way too many onions for this space. Who cares? Like who cares? I've seen 
people plant their onions so close to where the bulbs are touching once they're mature. Might make for a good Instagram pic or a thumbnail. So, you know, hey, we'll just roll with it. The point is to have food, right? Yeah. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as you're growing food. Yep. Like, the whole point here is not to have, like, a, you know, Pinterest-level garden. It's to grow our food. So, that's what we're doing. All right, are we going inside? We want to go out in the orchard and plant some more while the baby is occupied. I suppose we could do that. Let's go do that. On second thought, rather than go out to the orchard and plant some extra onions, we are going to start some seeds. Uh, we desperately need to start tomatoes. Uh, which we haven't done yet. So, we're gonna get some tomatoes planted. So this is a completely unnecessary step. We just get tired of having particles of wood that are bigger than the seeds. <laughs> so, we're just gonna run it through a quarter inch screen, sieve, and uh, we're not gonna throw this out. We'll just add it to the compost or something like that. Wow, that is some nice potting soil now. Good, All right, Ben went out to water the asparagus and the onions, and we are gonna pick out which tomatoes we want, huh, Buggy? Let's get even. Okay, so I usually try to do mostly paste, and then a slicer and a cherry, usually. And then usually I get distracted and plant other ones too. So. Is these ones? I have not used those ones before. Right. San Marzano, we'll do those for paste. Do I have any seeds left in there? Amish paste. Yeah, there's a couple of those. Those are good paste tomatoes. I'm gonna leave these over here, Buggy. I don't want to terminate. Why did you don't like terminate? Determinate, because determinate varieties only grow to a certain height and they only give you a certain amount of tomatoes. I want indeterminate that are gonna keep growing indefinitely and give me tomatoes over and over again. All right, so I got three paste tomatoes. I got a Martino's Roma, an Amish paste, and a San Marzano. And then I'm gonna do two cherry tomatoes, Tommy Toes this year, which I haven't done before. And then I did these tricolor ones last year, and it's a collection of Mom, Sweet Gold, things? Super Sweet 100, and Sun Gold. Sun Golds are amazing. Um, so I'm gonna do those again. There's a few left in this packet, and we'll just finish it out. And then I've got, hold on, and then I've got three large slicer types. I've got a brandy wine, hold on please, wait. wait, Cherokee purple, and a German lunchbox. I've not done these before. All right, I'm gonna start with these cherry tomatoes since I don't have very many left. There's probably like, yeah, there's not very many in there. It looks like they're, um, they're all color coded, and these are green seeds, which is the sun gold. Oh, sweet, so um, that'll be nice to have those. Okay. Can you poke your finger in and put a little hole? Just here, give me a finger. Put a hole. About like that. And about like that. And about like that. Can you do that in each one? Just a little hole in each one. Mm -hmm. Oops, I think that was like three in one hole. Take that one right there. That green one right there, take that one. Can you take that one? Just that one. And put it in this hole right here. That hole. Good. Thank you. Are these the Tommy Toes? These are the Tommy Toes. No, don't take that out. Leave it there. That's our label, so we know which ones are which. Okay, put it in the hole. Okay. Did you get the onions too? Yep. Okay. Ten Sun Gold Cherries, ten Tommy Toes, twenty Amish Paste, ten Sun Marzanos, which is a paste, ten Romas, which is a paste, and then probably do twenty of these. Probably twenty of everything. Why not? Why not? It's better to have too many. It is. All right, now that we're done with our tomatoes, we still have some room left in our trays. So um, one thing we didn't plant was jalapenos. We didn't have any seed left. So I got some jalapeno seeds from... We had the Craig's jalapenos oh, from last right. year, but only two of them germinated Yeah. out of like a whole flat. Right. So we're gonna try a different, different with... type of jalapeno. Yep. Those look like good seeds. I do. I still got space in this tray. I feel like I should fill it. I grabbed some herbs, so I'm gonna do some parsley, some borage, some 
coriander, which is cilantro, and some dill. I think I'm just gonna fill out this tray. Could I plant flowers in that second, second one? Yeah, do it. Okay. While she's finishing up that, I've got zinnias, marigold, various other things, echinacea. I've got some bachelor buttons, basically all of the flowers. Um, these are all seeds that we saved. We're, we're gonna try it. I have never really had good luck growing flowers from seed. Usually I have to just go down and buy flowers if I want flowers in the garden. Uh, but we're gonna try it this year. I wanna see what kind of luck I have. It's hard to tell what seeds are viable and what aren't. Yeah. Wow, we filled up a 200 tray with Lots of things. Lots of things. I feel like it should have been more. <laughs> 100 months probably. We're behind the eight ball. I know, we are. Okay, I'm gonna put these in there and get them out. I don't know if these seeds are viable. So I didn't get to these echinacea flowers until it was too late. And so I don't think these are viable. Uh, but luckily, Meg has some echinacea seeds. So I'm going to compare seeds that were purchased to seeds that I saved. Yeah, these are not viable. Oh no! These oh, seeds look yeah. nothing like. Yeah, those are too small. Yeah, so they're all undeveloped. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. That's all right. I had a feeling. Yeah. I want to do a lot of cosmos this year too. Do you have seed? Uh, yes, summer. I'll have to dig them out. Cosmos are my favorite. Cosmo, you guys heard it. She loves Cosmos. I do. Actually, I I have tried to plant Cosmos for Meg, and for whatever reason, they don't do very good when I plant them. All right, I filled up about a hundred. Uh, it was half the tray. About a hundred uh, flowers, various flowers. I'm tired of sitting here. I'm tired of. Yeah, this looks good. Let's plant this. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, my, my butt's getting tired of sitting in this chair. So, Mama's over there making dinner, and look who forgot her foot hurts. Making a mess is more important. Oh my word, it's everywhere. And that's boiled egg? Yep. yep. That is a horrific mess. Yep. Goodness. It's hey, but it was a good enough mess to where her foot quit hurting. Yeah, she's doing okay. I'm going to get these watered, okay. and... Call it good until dinner time. All right, grow. That looks weird. Is that milk? Mm -hmm. Why are you soaking chicken in milk? Like fried chicken. Ooh, I didn't know you were <laughs> frying chicken. We never fry chicken. We never. Fry it's chicken. like four or five times a year, maybe. I've never been able to really accomplish it without just burning the outside and then the inside being. So I'm gonna do a combined fry slash bake and see if I can get it that way. Sounds good. I'll okay. be your guinea pig. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Do they? All right, the hour that I was gone helping the boys with their projects. I feel like it's been a lot longer than an hour. I think it's been a little bit longer than an hour. I went down to the barn to help the boys. I won't let them use the metal bandsaw yet. Like, Un unsupervised. Unsupervised. Pretty much everything else I'm cool with. You know, they're safe, they, they know how to use tools, but certain tools like the table saw and the band saw, it's like, mm, I'll come help you. I don't know. I, I've, I've let go of a lot. You know, they have a wood lathe and they're making all sorts of stuff, but some things. Not ready yet. All right. I see some corn. See, that chicken doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple extra crispies, but the rest looks great. It smells great, too. I mean, I do love me some fried chicken. And then over here, I see some tater salad that you yes. were making while I was planting some flowers. Looks like uh, dinner's gonna be good. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All right, should I ring the bell? Yeah, ring the bell. All right. Chicken turned out great. It did, it actually turned out pretty good. I, I burned some of it, but. <laughs> It's okay. Fried chicken's tricky. It is. Like, I've tried frying chicken before, and it's hard. Anytime I've done it, I end up burning it or, like, 
cooking it till it's like stringy and dry and yeah. this was like perfect. Yeah, it turned out really good. So, all right. It was better than chicken I've had from like fast food places. It, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> well, I think that's gonna do it for us for today. It was kind of a busy day. It and was, yeah, we got a lot done. It was a, a busy weekend, kind of a stressful weekend. I yeah. think that's really what yeah. happened. Everything's fine. Just yeah. have, you know, some bruises to deal with. Yeah. It's yeah. all right. That's life. It is. You know, if you don't make it through life without a few bumps and bruises, were you really living? That's right. All right. We will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.